Hello to C. I hope you all had a great Memorial Day weekend and were enabled to go out and enjoy the sun and the uh, warm weather, getting us all ready for summer. Uh, today and tomorrow, I'm going to be reading you a book. Um, both of them are one of my favorites. And uh, after I read this book, I'm gonna give you an idea of something you can do along with it that I used to do with my boys that are now grown up men. <laughs> so this is called The Diary of a Worm. I don't know if you've heard it before, but it's kind of cute. All right. So it's March 20th. Mom says there are three things I should always remember. Number one, the earth gives everything we need. Number two, when we dig tunnels, we help take care of the earth. Number three, never bother daddy when he's eating the newspaper. So there he is, the world, dad's eating the newspaper. March 29th, today I tried to teach Spider how to dig. First, all of his legs got stuck. I think I twisted my ankle. Then he swallowed a bunch of dirt. I give up. Tomorrow he's going to teach me how to walk upside down. I don't know how well that one will go either. March 30th. Worms cannot walk upside down. April 4th. Fishing, fishing season started today. We all dug deeper. Did you hear, did you guys hear something? April 10th, it rained all night and the ground was soaked. We spent the entire day on the sidewalk. Hopscotch is a very dangerous game. So here's fishing season and here is where it rained and they went out on the sidewalk. April 15th. I forgot my lunch today. I got so hungry that I ate my homework. My teacher made me write, I will not eat my homework 10 times. When I was finished, I ate that too. So instead of my dog ate my homework, he ate his homework. April 20th. I snuck up on some kids in the park today. They didn't hear me coming. I wiggled up right between them and they screamed. I love when they do that. There he is, scaring the girls. May 1st, Grandpa taught us that good manners are very important. So today I said good morning to the first aunt I saw. Good morning. Ugh, there were 600 more of them in line. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. I stood there all day. May 8th, had the worst nightmare last night. Giant birds playing hopscotch. Mom says I have to stop eating so much garbage right before I go to bed. Here's his dream. May 15th, I got into a fight with Spider today. He told me you need legs to be cool. Then he ran. I couldn't keep up. Maybe he's right. May 16th, I made Spider laugh so hard he fell out of his tree. Who needs legs? May 28th, last night I went to the school dance. You put your head in, you put your head out. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself about. That's all we could do. <laughs> June 5th. Today we made macaroni necklaces in art class. I brought mine home and we ate it for dinner. June 15th, my older sister thinks she's so pretty. 
I told her that no matter how many times she spends looking in the mirror, her face will always look just like her rear end. <laughs> Spider thought that was really funny. My mom did not. July 4th. When I grow up, I want to be a secret servant, service agent. Spider says I will have to be very careful because the president might step on me by mistake. It's a dangerous job, I told him, but someone's got to do it. July 28th. Three things I don't like about being a worm. Number one, I can't chew gum. Number two, I can't have a dog. And number three, all that homework. Go. July 29th, three good things about being a worm. Number one, I never have to go to the dentist. No cavities, no teeth either. Number two, I never get in trouble for tracking mud through the house. And number three, I never have to take a bath. Who's my grubby little boy? August 1st. It is not always easy being a worm. We're very small and sometimes people forget that we're even here. But mom always says the earth never forgets we're here. They're very important to the earth. And there's some other pictures of him being stung. He found a baseball. Uh, my sister's slumber party. My favorite pile of dirt. So that's a really cute book. So what I used to do with my boys is we would get some paper and we would put it together like a book. And then they would pick their favorite animal or insect or bird or whatever. And they would pretend to be that animal for a week and they would write in their diary. So it could be the diary of a shark. I bet Azriel would like to be a shark for a week or it could be diary of a gorilla, diary of a, a unicorn. We could do make up things. Uh, any animal that you like, what you think it would like to be like that animal. And it's kind of fun and it gets you thinking about uh, what they eat, where they live, what happens during their day. So if you want to, that's a fun thing to, uh, to do. And you draw pictures to go with it. So I hope you liked the Diary of a Worm and I will be back tomorrow. Bye-bye.